Hi guys, it's Jacob from StringBuzz here. StringBuzz World.org being the music journalism site. Links are in the description down below. And it's been a bit of a slow week when it comes to music. Yeah, it's been uh, trucking along at a really dire sort of pace. So I thought we'd do a review of Jake Paul's latest track featuring Team 10, of course. You, you already know it. You've already seen videos about it. It's every day, bro. We're going to review this track. We're going to review it properly. So at this point, you've probably seen uh, this track mentioned or at the very least discussed uh, during the runtime of countless YouTube videos by personalities much louder, much more prominent than mine. But whilst looking through all of these different videos myself personally, I have yet to find someone who has actually really dissected this track for what it really is. I'm hoping that with my expertise and my musical past I can tell you exactly why this song sucks and yes that is a bit of a spoiler alert. I was never going to give this song above a two even if it was a manageable uh, so I can't really let that one go so I think we will we'll give this a little review shall we. So my first major problem really lies around the beat which is straight up ripped from a little known site called Audio Jungle and the guy even left the watermark in the audio watermark watermark which they they vocally put in so that you don't steal the tracks from their site and uh, they did here so obviously that that sort of counter criminal suit didn't work this time around not even amateur rappers from Blackpool for example would stoop that low and yes what I am trying to say here that even Little T himself could put together a cohesive beat and yet Jake Paul and an entire team of adults let's bear in mind couldn't even buy a MIDI keyboard and press a couple of notes on it then we have the rapping and its structure and the syllabic nature of course is pretty horrific and let's face it even though it's meant to be a humor filled track and one that is a bit of a parody of the genre it does it ever so poorly even flight of the concords a new zealand folk duo could put together a more cohesive rap performance than the entirety of this group uh, yeah the words weren't as wooden when they did it as well and weren't as forced as this as well if you're going to be funny at least try and put yourself in a position to make the joke first Production wise there isn't really much to talk about here since uh, I don't really want to rip on the original creator of this beat because whoever they are they are clearly putting in a shift for Audio Jungle Online. The beat is actually pretty good though. I think the bass is thick and it carries the low ground pretty well. It meshes well with the vocals. The percussion never sounds too compressed or anything like that or even too overproduced and it actually makes this, this sort of outing a little bit more laughable really. You have a beat handmade for you that is well produced and your vocal Vocals are also well produced, so ever producer vocals did a decent enough job, and they are accurately gated. Yet you still manage to spew out words in such a pathetic manner. No, this isn't an attack on the guy or the, the folks over at Team 10, of course it isn't, as I really know nothing about them or him himself, but I get the feeling that they don't really know that rapping is actually a skill and that you have to actually practice at it to get better. Anyone can just mutter words over music or even even spoken word can be difficult at times, especially when it's as well produced as this music is. I mean, it's easy to mutter words over this sort of beat, but even the mutterings this time around are of an obsessed egomaniac and his crew. When it comes to the musicality of this track, and I know you've been waiting for me to get into the technical nitty gritty of a track made by a YouTube vlogger, uh, an, an ex Disney kid, Vine star, but I think it all comes down to rhythm and timing, some of the most basic things you learn when it comes to music. The rap gets lost in the metronome countless amounts of times. The rhyme structure is pretty darn uh, terrible from start to finish. The rapping performances are all awful of course and the female vocals in particular did make me wince in auditory agony. Uh, the funny thing for me however is that Jake Paul actually has a decent voice for rapping. He's got that dominance and presence about himself. He, the guy knows how to dramatize lyrics as well. He knows how to make a line sound more convincing, more endearing if you would. But he actually wrote such shoddy bars this time around and why oh why did he get Team 10 involved they just took away from the track in you know second by second really they all sounded really poor in comparison to Jake on this track who in his own respect also sounded incredibly poor especially that sort of English bloke who's on the track and yes I'm going after one of my own kin this time around whomever he may be that guy has about as much vocal rhythm and gymnastic ability as your white confederate grandpa if he t was basically turned into an insect and had two of his legs cut off or rather amputated in this modern day and age. 
Lyrically, well, oh my goodness gracious me, where do we even start? The ego, the self-deprecation that then leads to arrogance, the incorporation of squad gimmicks, and the whiny insults that are thrown towards his ex-girlfriend. You already know they suck. You already know that you've seen videos discussing why these lyrics are offensively sloppy and lazy, whilst also being the ultimate toot up thy zone arse. But you know what? I've actually heard worse. Yeah, I have genuinely heard worse from the likes of ASAP Ty. Even Future can be thrown into this category every now and then. Uh, usually they are much worse than this, so I actually found this track somewhat refreshing. Yeah, how sad really. So all in all, it sounds as if like a YouTuber is with no musical background or musical experience uh, and a following made up of Vine Kids has tried to make a rap song and oh my goodness would you look at that it actually was I just I just gave it in a literal basis so of course the track is getting a G rating of oh it's between a zero and a one isn't it let's just call it crap and just be gone with it so if you like this video then please leave a like comment what you think in the comment section down below subscribe to see more and I'll see you around next time bye bye